Hello everyone. Today I want to answer a question which is frequently asked on this platform or on different platforms as well. And the question is, how do I learn a technology and how much time it takes for me to learn that and how I can learn that quickly. So normally uh, when, it, when you talk about learning a technology, so yes, in my entire career, I have worked on different technologies, I have learned different technologies, and I also got the opportunity to teach some of those technologies, maybe on YouTube, maybe in the corporate or maybe in some uh, seminars. So today I want to share the learning 3x rule which I follow. Uh, so I copied this, this 3x from somewhere. I, I guess there's a book which is which is called 10x rules. It doesn't matter. So I just wanted to have a fancy name for this video. But then I just want to share the tips with you. So when I say 3x, actually I have two things. One is the approach and second is the resources. So first I want to talk about how much time it takes for me to learn a technology. And the answer is, I don't know. Uh, for some technologies, it takes maybe one week. For some technology, it takes one year. Uh, it depends upon the technology which I'm trying to master. First of all, you have to ask yourself why you are learning a specific technology. Maybe it can be a, a programming language, it can be a server-side technology, and it may be some niche technology like AI or blockchain. The thing is, first you have to define the motto of learning the technology. What is your motivation? See, for me, uh, my motivation keeps changing, right? So uh, I learn some technology. Maybe I just I'm working on a project for that. I need that technology. Example, uh, I was working with log files. So way back in my career, when I first encountered the log4j library, it took me around two to three days to learn that technology. And then I realized there's something more to it. So what I learned in those two days was only basics of it. And then while working on the project, it maybe it took me around two months to completely understand how that works and it's way back now I don't even remember what was that project was all about uh, so that one thing I remember the the technology name which is log4j which is only for so some people use it for only for logging purpose so that's one thing now when I learn technology for YouTube I have a different approach right so when I learn something for the project sake it's only for project right so if I want to use something for the project, I will learn something from it and then I will make the project and job's done, right? So whatever things are needed for the project, I will learn that and job is done. But the moment I want to teach it to somewhere, maybe I want to teach on YouTube, I want to teach in a corporate, and think changes there as well. Uh, so first you have to define the motto, why you're learning it, right? So that based on that, you can change your bandwidth, how much time you have to give it. Uh, next thing is very important, the deadlines. Uh, you have to also, you have to also focus on deadlines, how much time you have for a particular technology. Now, if you are learning something in this during this lockdown, we don't have a deadline, right? Because we are not sure how long this lockdown would be. Uh, so set a deadline for yourself. Maybe if you, are learn, if you want to learn Python, so say, hey, in next one week, I want to complete learning Python. But how will you do that? So deadlines are very important. So now I want to talk about what approach I take when I, when I want to learn something new. So first one is getting a big picture. So whenever you learn a new technology, always learn that start i mean always start that from you know from 30000 feet you don't know what a technology is so understand what it is for example let's say if you talk about python it's a language right so using python language you can uh, build applications you can build websites and then uh, you can also use that in ai if you want to learn let's say blockchain what what is blockchain and where it is used so get the, get the overall picture what is blockchain and those things so getting a big picture is very important the next thing is, once you got the big picture, the next thing is you have to get in detail. Now it's time to start with the tutorial. Maybe you can follow YouTube videos, maybe you can follow, you can buy online courses, maybe you can buy books. Uh, so get deep into it, right? So that's where you will start from the base. Uh, what is the technology and then getting into the details of it. Uh, and that's a, that's a lengthy part, right? So big picture, you can get it in one or two days. But then if you want to learn something in detail, that's where time it, it takes time, right? One week or one month or one year. Now, once you got a big picture, once you got the you got the things in detail, see what happens is even if you learn something for the first time, you know that technology now, but then it's a, it's very fresh in your mind, right? It takes time for your to for your brain to adapt to new technologies. And that's where you need to learn things from the experts. Now, I'm not talking about the in-detail stuff, I'm talking about the thoughts, expert thoughts. Now, this is where it will help you to understand what that technology is in the real world, right? So first, you got the idea about big picture, what a technology is, you got to know in detail, but then how experts are using it in their day-to-day -day life and 
what what are what are their thoughts on that particular technology? See, that's very important, right? Because even if I even if I learn a new technology, let's say Node.js, which I'm currently uh, focusing on, I just I really want to understand people who are working in Node.js from let's say from last five years or six years. What are their thoughts on Node.js? It will change the way I think about Node.js, right? So that's that's important for me. Uh, it may not work for you, but that 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 is helpful. So first, get a big picture. Second, learn in detail, and third, expert thoughts. Now that was the approach. It's time to go for the next three X, which is the resources. Uh, now this resource ranking will change according to different people. For me, uh, it is it starts from the videos. So if I want to learn something new, I always watch videos. It can be YouTube videos. It can be. Uh, videos on Udemy, it may be videos on some other platforms. So I normally start from videos. But then the problem with videos is it will not give you in detail explanation. See, it doesn't matter which course you watch, right? So if you are watching a course, let's say for 10 hours or 20 hours course, still it cannot complete each and everything. Uh, it's not required actually if you want to just want to work on the project. But for me, I want to teach a technology. And there are some professionals who want to get the detailed uh, description and that's where books it's, it, books are very helpful. Uh, so first is first for me for the first resource are always videos. The second resource is books and uh, ebooks. You can also follow ebooks. And then if you don't want to buy books, you can also go for articles, blog posts, right? So start reading stuff. So even if you are watching my videos on Python, uh, go to Google and search for uh, some articles on Python, some new tricks, new new concepts, and that's where it will help you. So first is videos for me, then books. The third one, I'm not sure if you know about these things. Uh, this thing is actually very helpful for me. Uh, during this lockdown, you are spending most of your time uh, learning new things, you know, doing time pass, playing games, and maybe you are also supporting your houseworks, homeworks, right? Now that's what I'm doing these days. I'm trying to help uh, cleaning the house and uh, doing the dishes. Now during that time, it's it's I love to listen to audiobooks. Normally I should do that when I used to travel, maybe in trains or in by car, but now what I do is whenever I do any household work, I listen to audiobooks. Now, yes, for technology as well, there are a lot of audiobooks available online. Uh, I have a subscription for the Audible, but if you don't have the Audible subscription, that's fine. Uh, if you're getting a free audiobook from anywhere, use it. Otherwise, uh, there are a lot of podcasts available online. Now, one of the apps which I have on my phone is Google Podcast. Just install Google Podcast. There are tons of free resources available, tons of free uh, podcasts available. Uh, so whatever technology you're learning, just search for the technology. There will be a lot of podcasts. Listen to any of them. Don't judge the channel or the, uh, I don't know what they call it as on uh, on podcast, but don't judge the particular channel based on their logos or the uh, title they give you. Uh, just listen to any audiobook. If you like it, just continue with the, uh, complete the entire series. It's very helpful. Right. Uh, so the first three were the approach, the three X and the next three X is the resources. So just to reiterate, always get the big picture, learn in detail and listen to expert thoughts. And that's where the uh, the podcast will be helpful. Right. Uh, so you can the next three re resources, audiobooks, videos, books and audiobooks or podcast. So, yeah, that's that's that the thing I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, let me know if you want to know more about this stuff in detail later. Maybe I'll try to make another video. So that's it everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for other videos. Bye-bye.